Today is Monday. <laughs> happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. We are coming in to 2017. No, we in 2017, baby. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. I was in the hospital. Figures, right? <laughs> Uh, I was in a hospital. I showed this picture of me, New Year's. Looking like a hot ass mess, right? <laughs> uh, but I am home. I came home yesterday afternoon. I have been sleeping like a boss, man. It's like I came home and I felt so much better. I'm eating up some stuff. <laughs> I can eat. Your girl can eat. I had cereal. Um, like I just ate some oatmeal. That was so good. But it gave my stomach the queasy queasies. Um, I went in the hospital because them damn ulcers. I'm so sick of going in the hospital, y'all. I am so sick of going in the hospital. Like I'm to the point where the everybody just know me now. <laughs> Everybody know me. I went in the hospital with no hair on, right? Now, I ain't going, like, y'all seen the picture. So, I went in there with no hair on. They didn't know who I was at first. But then when they started coming around, like, we a blue hair. <laughs> like, I had to leave that hair. I was moving too fast. <laughs> but Eric, they starting to know me there. That's not good. My doctor I still don't know what the hell is going on. But my ulcers did go down a lot. Yeah. Which I'm not understanding. Why would they go down, but they still hurt like hell? It's like the smaller they getting, the more pain increase. Don't know. They don't know. These doctors don't know what the hell they be talking about. I'm sorry. They don't. Because my doctor be guessing. Oh, you stressed. How can I be stressed? I'm not stressed. Like, I am happy. I'm not stressed. Then he like, oh, you depressed. I'm depressed because I'm always in this bitch. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, but everything is good. I smell amazing, y'all. For Christmas. Well, not for Christmas. Wait. Um, for the last two or three months, I've been using this fake white diamond from um, the gas station. I went to the gas station where I get all my CDs and stuff from. My famous gas station. And I seen this up there. And it smells... It smells so good. And I've been using it like crazy, as you can see. But for Christmas, a little birdie, a little friend of mine, brought me the real deal white diamond. I ain't trying to hate, but my fake white diamond smell way better than a real one. It, it smell way, way better. But then I got this white, this one, this little white diamond. This the uh, the original one, the first one. This one smell more like that, the fake one, than any of them. I ain't got nothing to talk about. I ain't even going front. I have nothing to talk about. My New Year's has been okay. I told you I was in the hospital. I came home. I cleaned up my house. I've been asleep, eating, running back and forth to the bathroom. <laughs> and that's about it. Y'all, I don't want y'all... Like, it's some things I do want to tell y'all. Like, I don't want nobody to get discouraged from having a surgery because of me. Now, I'm going to tell I'm going to say this all the time, and I'm going to continue saying this. I have destroyed my body. I destroyed my body way before I had this surgery. I used to be an alcoholic. I used to drink a fifth of day of 5 o'clock gin. A fifth of 5 o'clock gin. Oh, my God. Like, ew. And me and my best friend used to drink a fifth of that. Every day for four years straight. Four years straight. So, that's a lot of damage on your body. And I was already drinking before I even, me and my best friend even started drinking every day. Me and my, um, at the time, ex, 
we were drinking fifths of Nikolai every day. And we were doing that for a good three or four years. Plus, I was smoking weed every single hour on the hour. <laughs> so I did so much damage to my body now that, you know, I'm, I don't do any, like, not that I ain't doing nothing, I'm a lame, as they call me, but not that I don't do anything like that, it's like my body is trying to rebuild itself. So I don't want nobody to get discouraged, you know, of their weight loss surgery because of the things that I'm going through and the stuff that my body is taking me through. Like, I have to own up to responsibility. I'm going in and out the hospital every day because it's what I did to my body. What I did in the past to my body is basically you know it's fighting me back now it's fighting me back so my body is just i don't want to i really don't want nobody to get discouraged of their surgery because of the shit that i'm going through okay um everybody body is different everybody body is unique in its own way so you know don't get discouraged because of me this just my story and the stuff that i'm going through that's it ah uh, new year's we show new year's plans mine is i have new year okay my one of my goals is to make sure that i am in school full time i want to be in school full time and i want to go back to work full time i tried on my um my old uniforms my nurses uniforms and stuff and they can't fit none of my uniforms can fit which is like yay <laughs> so that's a good thing we start school january the 11th yay <laughs> um I wanted to go back to school full time. I wanted to go back to work full time. That's it. I want to lose this 100 pounds and that's it. That's all I want to do this year. Well, that's it. There wasn't really much to want to talk about this week. Um, We're doing good. We're doing good. I love coming out the hospital because I feel so good when I do come out. So that's a great thing. Um... They gave me some liquid narco that I am, I put it in the um, hospital bag at the bottom and I just left it. Like, I will not touch that stuff at all. When I was in there, they was giving me something called uh, deep, no, Depella, which is a uh, muscle relax. Well, it's, he said it was the next step above morphine, so... They gave me that. I was in there high off my ass. I'm not even going to lie. I was so high the whole time I was in there. I was asleep. <laughs> and everything. He said that my body was getting used to the Tylenol. I had, remember I showed y'all I brought, I brought a bottle of a little Tylenol. Um, my body had got used to the Tylenol and the Trimadol. So, it's like, since my body was getting used to it, it didn't. It didn't help. It didn't help at all. So, they gave me that. They told me to finish taking all the medicine that I was taking. They said I was doing good. I don't understand. <laughs> like, how can I be doing good and I'm in so much pain? <laughs> Seriously. We lost uh, two pounds. We were 270... I think it was 273.6. So, we still losing weight, but we're going down slow. But I know why, though. It's like, the weight is going down, but the way my clothes is fitting, the way, like, my head is huge and I can see my neck, like, everything is pulling itself in. So, I'm not, like, I'm not discouraged about that. I'm very happy and very pleased because everything is too big. Look like a nightgown on me. <laughs> And, yeah, that's good. I put some blinds up. I'm not really liking them. <laughs> I'm not feeling them at all. But that's it. I'm home. I'm happy. Y'all don't have to. I'm going to be in and out the hospital a lot. A lot, y'all. So, I don't need 
I love how you guys be like, I hope you feel better and all that stuff. Y'all, I'm being there a lot. I'm being there a lot because the, the damage I did to my body. The damage I did to my body. And it doesn't matter how much I'm trying to take care of it now. The damage is done. It's done. So it's like we starting a new chapter on how to rebuild our body. What we do here is Which is hard. Back, 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 back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Leave a comment at the bottom. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.